What's up streamers? I've got some breaking Twitch news for you. Twitch is unveiling a brand new tool called Guest Star. Now this tool basically allows creators the ability to bring on any Twitch user onto their stream and show their video or audio or even share their screen. Streamers can host and manage their guests directly within Twitch Studio or OBS. Now as a streamer, you and your mods are going to have full control over who gets invited, whether they're allowed to use their camera or just their audio, if they're allowed to share their screen and even adjust their audio levels apparently. Um, and guests can be kicked out at any time, so don't worry about that. You'll also be able to see if a user that is trying to join is flagged for being a suspicious user, um, or you can see how long they've been following, their chat history and all of that, so you can actually make a decision before you put them on their live, on your live stream. Another thing about Guest Star is there is a green room type feature so that your guests will actually be able to adjust their camera, their mic behind the scenes. So when they join, they're not automatically live. You actually get to toggle and choose who is shown on stream at any given time, who is not, and your guests can communicate behind the scenes as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, this feature is going to enter testing to a small group of Twitch streamers before opening up to interested beta testers this fall. And here is the big news that you wanna hear. It is going to be eventually available to all streamers. So this is not going to be just a, a feature for partners. It's gonna be made available to every single Twitch streamer. So here's some more details that I'm gonna talk about. I uh, tweeted all this, so if you're following me on Twitter, you've already seen this, but we're gonna go through it here. Okay, so each guest is going to have their own browser source link so that you can customize each camera or guest placement and not have to worry about your entire window capture reshuffling whenever someone leaves and joins. So you can see in the screenshot, you can just select their link and add that into your OBS and get that all programmed. Um, this is a big pain point for Zoom where everything gets reshuffled whenever, <laughs> whenever someone leaves. So this is pretty nice. In addition, you can invite any user on Twitch. You can make a list of favorites, sort by subscribers, people you follow, mods, VIPs, and more. You can view each user's history card here too, so you can see how long they've been following and the chat history. This is definitely a really cool feature. You can invite literally anyone. And on the flip side, you can also open up requests so that people who are watching your stream can actually request to come on. This allows you to customize whether it's just followers, subscribers, or just anyone that's in the channel. You can even limit this to audio only, as you can see right here. And your viewers are gonna basically see a little pop-up that says requests are turned on and who they're turned on for with instructions on how to join. In terms of moderation, you can customize which of your mods have access to managing your guest star tool and what power they have. This is really awesome. So let's say you don't want all your mods to have access to being able to invite guests or approve people onto the show. You can actually customize who of your mods gets to actually join here. Okay, so you can toggle all that on and off. And um, it was said that only five max guests are allowed. So you can have five max guests, which is six total people on your stream. So you can't have like 15 people on at the same time. That's why I tagged Austin here. Um, and the big important question that a lot of people were asking was, is the host held liable if a guest breaks TOS on stream? The answer is pretty fair. If the host denounces the action and removes the guest immediately, then they will not face a penalty. But if the host doesn't act, maybe they go along with it or they just let the guest say all these TOS breaching things, they could get penalized. You could get banned if you let the guests uh, do that. So definitely make sure you keep your guests in check, but you don't have to worry about potentially about someone, you know, saying something and you just instantly getting banned. So I do have a couple of concerns. You know, Twitch does tend to release features and then kind of give up on them um, before they reach their best possible version. I'm worried that this might be another one of those features that, you know, streamers end up spending a lot of time and get invested into using it. And then Twitch just either forgets about it or just gets rid of it completely. And with that improvements and adding new features to a tool like this tend to take a lot of time as we've seen in the past. Will this tool be all encompassing from the get-go or is it going to take a year or two to get it to where it needs to be? And at that point, people are just going to give up on it. And let's talk about Twitch, its API and third-party tools because they often don't play very nice with each other. This could be a tool that needs a lot of third-party support 
to allow streamers to automate and innovate to its full potential. I hope that we see some cooperation on this front. So my biggest concern is this. Is guest star an integrated Twitch tool that will truly save time and hassle for streamers or will it be too limited to really fulfill creators needs? Now, on the other hand, I do have some positives to say about the tool from what I've seen so far. And again, I don't have access to it. I am just seeing what you guys have seen about it. I love that it's a natural integration with Twitch. This makes it easier than having to send people to a discord server and then to a voice channel within the server, etc. You know, this integration allows Twitch to hold its users directly accountable if they break TOS, which is something they really can't do if a creator is using Zoom or something. So that's definitely a positive as well. And I love how the customization options that they offer, it really shows that, you know, I think they worked with creators to build this tool, right? When it comes to selecting who of your moderators can manage the tool, how to invite guests, how to allow guests to invite themselves, even being able to, to toggle easily who is shown on stream, stuff like that. It really does feel like they spent a lot of time and had some conversations with streamers. So I do love that. So overall, I am definitely going to be using this feature because I'm really curious to see if it's better than my current process. I do use uh, a site called vdo.ninja formerly called obs ninja and i want to see if maybe this will help streamline the process make it easier for people from chat to come on at any time i'm always rooting for twitch to build awesome features that creators will love and make help make the platform better but again i do have some genuine concerns about how feature rich this product is going to be and how long it's going to take to get to the point where it is truly usable for any creator so that's my take. I'd love to know what you think about the new tool. Are you excited to use it? Is it for you? Let me know your thoughts.